YouTube, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm gonna switch it up on you guys today and I'm gonna be showing you guys how I get better at cutting hair. Most of the time I'm helping you guys out, right? So I'm teaching you guys what I know. And for today, I'm gonna be studying somebody else and I'm gonna be breaking down his system of fading and I'm gonna replicate it. And I'm gonna show you guys how to go about actually studying other barbers so you guys can apply their game and put it into your game. I actually launched my first ever online business, which is the School of Barbering. It's basically all the knowledge that I've acquired. I have a course outline that I'm creating modules and videos for. So this is something that I've always wanted to do, like consulting businesses. They're always constantly helping people as they keep on going with their career. And last year I, you know, I experimented with helping other barbers and I got a lot of data and I was like, man, like I know so much about the game that I can just put it into videos and create sort of kind of like a program where I can take them through a transformation to get to, to for them to ho hopefully get to where I'm at. And that's what's in my academy at the School of Barbering. Today, I'm gonna be breaking down the fading system of one of my, actually the admins within the community. His name is Carlos, they, he goes by Los Cuts. He's really, really good at what he does. He's good at fading. I'd like to say that he's one of the most talented barbers that I know that I've seen on Instagram. And now he's a part of the team at the School of Barbering. I'm gonna break down his fading system and I'm gonna improve my fading skills today by teaching you guys how to study somebody else. So the first time around, it's just going to be a quick little skim through you know you want to watch a tutorial once take notes the second time you want to watch it again with the notes that you took and the third time is application the whole point is for you guys to take information and to apply it to your current situation so that's what we're going to be doing right now he dips it fairly pretty well at the bottom so he's like a finger at, at the bottom and he dips it a then he removes the bulk so he goes in with a three create that foundation well, he's gonna go about a finger he goes a, a tiny bit higher with the lever closed with the 1.5 then he uses lever open then so he's working the half guard and the 1.5 and then he's gonna use the thinning shears basically to bridge the gap in between the three and the 1.5 so he doesn't use a two guard so that little bulky line the bulk on top he's then fading out with the four guard lever open so then he goes in with the shaver now. So then he shaves that bottom line and he leaves about a centimeter of room. Then he goes upside down. So now he's going to blend that line into the half guard closed using his eyes. And he works on that side before he starts blending that bottom side. I'm going to be demonstrating how to do a fade with no hooks using the Los Cuts method. Looking at my client's head shape, I can see his occipital bones right here, right? So we want to contour the guideline and dip it so we don't expose this part of his head. And we want to keep most of the darkness towards the top of the ridge right here to follow along with that guideline. My client's size on top is probably like a number three. So this is gonna be a number three mid fade with no hooks. First, with my trimmer, set our first guideline right here from the temple. So usually you'd see somebody go in a straight line like this. We're gonna dip it. Go ahead and remove the bulk now. Now looking at our, our notes, usually if he had bulk right here, we'd go in with the three and then with the four on top. But since our client already has a short bus cut, you know, I'll double check. You guys can see the highest this goes is probably to a number three. Instead, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna skip some steps and I'm gonna go in with the half guard closed. We're gonna go about a finger's width. Now we're gonna go up with the 1.5 guard, a finger's width. So in the video we watched, he didn't use a two guard. So we're also not gonna try to use the two guard. I'm gonna go ahead and open it and go a tiny bit on top of this line right here and start closing it little by little. On the 1.5. Close it a little bit. Any inconsistencies, we're gonna just follow through with the thinning shears. 
or shears over, over a comb. Close it again. Lever's all the way open right now. And I'm just gently feathering towards the top. I wanna blend this into the three. He uses thinning shears. I'm gonna go ahead and try to use scissors over comb. I feel more comfortable with my, with my shears rather than my thinning shears. We're gonna blend everything in between the three and the 1.5 guard lever open. It's really important to use this. So the way you use this, my index finger and my thumb is at the bottom and I'm using about like three little holes, right? And you guys don't wanna be using doing this. You guys just want to move one, one blade and just move your thumb. Now using my thinning shears, just getting really baby hairs. I'm not trying to get in so deep. So we can always go back and detail our work guys. We know that this is the half guard closed. We're going to go in again with the half guard lever open. We're going to go about, I'd like to say half a finger above. And then we're gonna slowly close it and work our way back into that initial line. Lever open. Gentle strokes, letting the machine do all the work. Now on top of that half guard lever open, instead of using the one guard, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing that I did on top. We're gonna start kind of skipping steps in a way to preserve darkness. This is point cutting technique as well. So sometimes your machine won't get in those little spots. We can use this to create like little holes within the hair. Next, we're gonna grab our shaver. We're gonna leave about a centimeter at the top of that stubble. Stubble is the, those little, little grains of hair. After we go in with the trimmer, usually it's not gonna bald it out and it's gonna leave some stubble. So we wanna leave some of that and everything at the bottom is gonna be shaved. So our trimmer now, we're gonna attack that centimeter line blending basically the skin to the stubble that's what we're going up in this direction the trimmer is a lot sharper rather than going up with the trimmer we're flipping it upside down and using this part of the blade now we're going to blend from this to this going from the closed to the open lever position so my lever is going to be closed now gonna go midway Open it three quarters now, and we're flicking up until that half guard closed. I'm gonna start closing it little by little now, working my way back down. Three quarters open now. So we're gonna get rid of, kind of just cleaning up the space of that, of our, uh, of our shaver. On top of that, I'd like to say, we're kind of like tickling his skin to an extent, where we're not applying so much pressure and we're just letting the machine do all the work. There's no pressure. A lot of the times we think that we, we, we have to go in hard with with the force that we apply, but just let your machine do all the work. Followed by lever open now. So we go in with the straight razor, trimmer to open lever right here. Make sure you guys go against the grain, you pay attention to hair growth. And 
can slightly close it little by little. Next with the half guard, applying the same, the same principle, lever open and then we work our way lower. Just depending on what you guys see, close it a little bit. The thickness of this is gonna protect you from honestly not hitting this bottom line. It's not gonna, it doesn't do anything. I can't touch that. So what the purpose of the thickness of the comb is to go into that three guard, into the 1.5 guard region. And I like starting here just cause it's more comfortable to start where there's more space. And I'm just gonna keep working this area. There you guys have it. This is a number three mid fade with no hooks using the Los Cuts method. If you guys like the content, let me know down below in the comment section. I want some feedback for these next couple of videos that I'm gonna be making. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe and I'll see you guys next week for more content. Peace.